Welcome to this example video. Here we will present how to simulate and analyze a braced steel seat coffer dam with a base slab with the tools of our software program DPEX. DPEX is our program for deep excavation design and analysis. It can design any common wall type and support system using different methods. Inside the software program, we can first select to edit the soil properties. So here we can actually create a list of soils and we can define for each one of them the soil type and the soil properties. And we will press to edit the stratigraphy. And here we can define top of the soil layer elevation and soil type below this elevation. So the first soil layer will be this fill layer with top elevation 0 feet. Below at minus 10 we will use a sand S1. And at minus 35 we will use a glacial till. I press OK and this action updates the project stratigraphy. Now in the initial stage 0 we will not have any excavation but in this first stage we will define all the different model properties. Here we can edit the water elevation so I will place the water table at elevation minus 5 feet. I can select to add the right wall to the model and if I press yes I'll be able to edit the properties of this right wall. Here we will define the right wall depth to 40 feet. We can edit the structural section. We say that this wall 1 section is being used in this wall. It is actually the wall section that it is being used now in both walls. So we will use a seat pile wall and I will select the section AZ19. I press OK. This updated the wall 1 section to this seat pile wall AZ19 and it is selected here. Finally, the X wall coordinate is the top left point of this wall. This is the right wall, so I will place it at X wall coordinate 50. I press OK and this places my wall here. I double click on the left wall and I also change the wall depth to 40 feet and I see that it is also using this wall 1 which now has a Z19 section inside. I press OK. Now we will add a construction stage and in this stage 1 we will excavate here between the two walls at minus 10. So I define the elevation and I will also dewater at minus 10. We will add a construction stage and in this stage 2 we will select to draw a support and I will draw a strut support connecting the opposite walls. I click on the left wall, I click on the right wall and here we can define the exact elevation of the strut on the wall so I will place it at minus 8 feet. And we can also edit the structural section for the strut. I will create a new strut section. And here we can select to use I sections, selecting an I beam section from the drop down, pipes, or rectangular hollow sections. In this example, we will use initially a PP18. So I will select the section from here. The properties are passed automatically according to the selected section from the drop down. I press OK and I will use from the drop down the PP18 section we just created. So now this updates my strat. I right click, I add the construction stage and then this new stage will excavate between the two walls to the elevation minus 20 feet. I will also dewater up to this point. And I will add one more stage and then this stage I will select the draw supports option and I will select to draw a concrete slab. I click on the opposite walls and now here we can select to define the exact elevation for the center of the slab on the walls and the structural section. I will use this first slab and I will rename it slab to fit. And we will define that the thickness 
of the slab is 24 inches and I will use 24 inches also for uh, the width of the slab and within this 24 inches we can select the number of rebars and the rebar size for the top and the bottom uh, reinforcement of the slab so we will use 8 and 8 I press OK and this 2 feet slab is now selected here the slab elevation will be at minus 19 and because this is a base slab we will use a user defined unbranched length and we will use a value like 2 feet here and this will create virtual supports every 2 feet reducing the unbranched length of the slab I press OK and we can say that the slab is added here and we can see the reduced abraced lengths also now we will go at stage 0 and I will use an external load here I select to draw loads I draw a surface strip surcharge and I click on two random spots on my surface in the dialog that appears I can define the exact position of the new load and the magnitude so I will use a 0.6 KSF load I press OK and the load is added here because I drew the load in stage 0 I see that the load is available in every construction stage if we go to the analysis tab we see that the selected analysis method is the classical limit equilibrium analysis we will not use a design approach for the geotechnical design so we will perform a service design and from the state that I installed the support in after we will change the earth pressure method from active to FHWA apparent pressures I will pass the change to the other stages also so now for the cantilever excavation it will use active pressures and from stage 0 and after it will use FHWA apparent pressures we run the analysis and as soon as the analysis finishes the software shows here the most critical results among all construction stages we can see the wall displacements, the wall moments, the wall shear and we can see here the moment and shear structural ratios we target for an STR below 1 and the closest we are to the value 1 the more efficient is our solution we can see the maximum support reaction we can see the support structural check and we can see the wall embedment safety factors in general we target for a factor close to 1.5 since we are doing a service design and everything is unfactored we press exit and here we can see the different results graphically on the model area for each construction stage we can see the moments we can see the shear diagrams with the shear capacity for every construction stage we can see the wall displacement diagrams we can see the soil pressures we can see the water pressures and more for the supports we can both see the reactions for every construction stage and we can also see the stress ratios visit our websites in order to review more information about our software programs and services if you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts feel free to contact us thank you for watching this video